Hello everyone, Mr. Terminal here for Cloud Infrastructure Services. In this video, we are deploying SFTP Secure Server on Windows 2019 on AWS. So the link has been provided for the marketplace and yeah, once you subscribed, we can continue to configuration. All this delivery method is fine, software version is fine, region is perfect. Continue to launch. Now here we want to go with launch through EC2 instead. So we can configure our minor details. So AMI is already picked for us as it's a image from the marketplace. We don't have to worry about this. This you can pick according to your needs. This is more than enough for a demo. And in fact, security group two is all pre-configured for us. So this is a side note. So if you're manually doing it, these are the ports that you will need. TCP 22 and TCP 21990 and 389. Of course, this is for SSH and this for RDP. And we can go ahead with review and launch. Yep, perfect launch. We are going to generate a key pair, create a new key pair, RSA type for SFTP. And yeah, let's download the key pair. We got it, so we are going to go ahead and launch the instance. Our instances are now running perfect. Let's view them. Instance state is still pending, and once it's running, we can connect it through RTP. So let's skip to that. Perfect, our instance is running. So we are going to go ahead, select it and connect to it. And go with RDB client, download the remote desktop file. But to use this, you would need a password and username is of course administrator. And we are going to get ahead and password and it would show you that you have to wait some while before it is password is able to generate so we are going to do that after waiting some time it will allow you to see it and now you have to browse your key pair and add it here the ones we created that is attached to this instance so let's do that I have attached it and let's see up take care of the password we have got our password let's copy it and let's go to our downloaded RDP file Let's open it. So we have this RDP file in our downloads. We are going to open it, connect to it. Password is the one we just copied, pasted without even caring. And yes, our Windows instance with SFTP server should start. The first thing you want to do is run this free FTP server. Okay, let me close this. As an administrator, make sure you're running it as an administrator. Right click it, run as administrator. And there it is. Once you start, you can see the interface. It's GUI and what you want to do first is just a side note. You can always click here to configure the settings. Okay, so once it is open, we can generate new, we have to generate new SFTP host keys. So here you want to go to the host key as can be seen here. And minimize it, I think. 
so it already provides you a path so you can keep this as it is instead of cfg let me just go for rsa So I'm going to create it in the same folder it is mentioned. Let it be private key dot RSA. So yeah, that's the one. Make sure it is 1024 bits. Same for the DSA key. key. We're going to generate one. And 1024 bits, that one too. And yeah, this is the folder. Private key dot DSA. And that is, that's it. We're going to apply and save it. Next, we want to do what we want to do is start the server itself. So we're going to click on SFTP, and all this is perfectly fine for 22 all interfaces. You can add something here. Welcome to SFTP server in Azure, for example and goodbye message can be see ya. uh completely whatever you want and that would be the root directory that is fine and just click on start the server status is running so if we go to status the sftp server you would find that it is running great our next step would be adding users and there are three options to do that either you authenticate your local users with username and password or authenticate your active directory users next would be or, or you could choose to authenticate users with private public ssh keys for local users we would go to the computer management that's the one uh, in here we can go to local users and groups let me just stretch that users and here as you can see my users are already added so i'm just going to add user a demo user demo for connecting whatever password is whatever you want to set oh, how did i mess that up no need And yeah, create. Okay, I didn't think that would be the case. Just let's create a strong password and done. So our demo user is created, but this is just created inside the local system. We still have to configure this to our stuff, our STP server. So we are going to go back here. In here, you go to users and add a user. Here, the name should be same, obviously. Authentication should be NT authentication domain no need and just make sure you check the sftp server and apply and this is configured with your sftp server so that's how you add a local user as uh, and if you want to add active directory users what you will be do is add another user Add the username according to the AD, whatever it is. Any user. Mm. 
authentication would be NT authentication itself. And here you want to add your domain, whatever it is. So make sure that is added. Keep the home directory same. And here make sure you check and uncheck S FTP server and only SFTP server is checked. Apply and that's it. Your Active Directory user is added. Now, if you want to authenticate with private or public keys via SSH, so you have added the option to allow users to connect to the server using a private key that communicates with a public key on the SFTP server. So what you want to do is go to this, this user section and we are going to create another user. Uh, let's call him SSH user. In here, instead of anti authorization, what we're going to do is select password stored as sha1 hash. Now, password, make a note of this again. This is important. This is used as catchphrase, match phrase, <laughs> catchphrase. In Cobra, whatever, and yeah, keep this as it is. That's perfectly fine. Again, make sure you uncheck FTP server and only FTP SFTP server is checked. Apply, and user now can SSH into this server. You will of course need to create a public key and a private key for each user. So you have on your desktop putty gen, that's what you're going to use. And here, let me just, here make sure you have RSCA selected, then just press generate. Once it is generated, uh, keep the key passphrase you have to enter. It has to be the same one we entered for the user, the password we entered for the user in the SSH. So it has to be same, otherwise, it will fail. We are going to save the key. The public key in the server folder that we have been using all this time. So it's in our this PC Windows C our files fifty six. Free FTPD and here make sure you save it with the same username you have added and it should not have any kind of extension. So yeah, this is the public key we are saving. Just remember that and save it. And we have to save the private key. This you can save it anywhere because this just goes to the user you will be connecting. So this is the one you give to the user. And this can have an extension. Right. And save it. We got that. And yeah, that's how <clears throat> that is configured. I just want to point out that first time a user connects, their home folder will be created in the following location. Inside this folder, there will be another folder named as SFT root. SFTP root, yeah. 
So in that you can, in case a user experiences any issues in going to that file of the user folder of that user, you can edit it. So no, no user has connected. So I don't have it, but just assign it. That's all about deploying the SFTP server on AWS. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.